It's the year 2000, war action, Mel Gibson again. With the Patriot. Yeah, so I know about this movie. Like, I know about it, but I've really never seen it. And none of the dots really connect, because I haven't watched it all the way through. This shit is like 20 days long, so that's a thing. As on the entertainment value, I'm going to watch it. So I want to get into this movie. But first, I got to send a shout out to my boy Dave. And the good folks over at SeinfeldMinute.com. I'm shouting Dave out because Dave sent me some movies. He sent me these two joints right here. And this is the first time anyone has ever sent me anything. Well, no, it's not the first time. It's the first time anyone subscribed on YouTube has sent me any, any anything. And this was, uh, this was pretty cool. The City of Lost Children, he sent me, and Triangle. So these are movies that I will be reacting to. Again, check them out over at SideFilmMedit.com. That's my man. I'm pressing play. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I think you should. I have a lot of content. We do a lot of movies. Let's see what Mel Gibson rewrote. I mean, made. Let's see what Mel got going on. Mel, Mel Gibson will make a good movie. A young Gregory Smith, ain't seen him in a minute. Father, a post rider! Uh, did you finish planning the south field? Thomas, wait for father. Oh! I mean, shit! The craftsmanship is there. I don't know wh wh where you off on the math. You start from the front two stars of the Big Dipper, and then you count. Good night. So his wife has passed, and he's got a lot of kids. <laughs> That's why they sitting in there. <laughs> I'm about to drink this brandy. So what was in the mail? So they're not allowed to open. That's right. There might be some important shit in there. It says here they'll make a declaration of independence by July. That was his name on that paper, wasn't it? I've been called to Charlestown. Town. We're going to Charlestown. We are. Yeah, you got two Cadillacs and a horse. I knew a guy named Benjamin. I went to school with a guy named Benjamin Tate. He was an asshole. But his name was Benjamin, and I liked him. Oh. Well, 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 yes. <laughs> Move slowly, uh, you two. Keep an eye on these heathens, please. She's still not talking? No. So she was getting herself straight for her, for him, for Benjamin. Oh shit. <sighs> Again, I know a lot of folks gonna be in the comments giving me all the correct history times and scenes. Lay it on me, baby. I love it. Send us off to war alongside Massachusetts. They have long needed a woman in their lives. Mother. Especially since I lost most of my hearing and my left leg. He cuts off my other leg with his taxes. The last time you saw me, I was 11, and you put ink in my tea. It was you, and it turned my teeth black for a month. Our first order of business will be an address by Colonel Harry Burwell of the Continental Army. Colonel Burwell. You've seen him at least 200 times. And we are at war. From Philadelphia, we expect a declaration of independence. But for the independence of one I nation. Know that. Uh, and uh, yes, what nation is that? Why should I trade one tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away? I understood you to be a patriot. If you mean by patriot, am I angry about taxation without representation? Well, yes, I am. 
This from the same Captain Benjamin Martin, whose fury was so famous during the wilderness campaign. There's not a man in this room, or anywhere for that matter, to whom I would more willingly trust my life. So watch your motherfucking mouth. This war will be fought not on the frontier or on some distant battlefield. Our children will learn of it with their own eyes. Do you intend to enlist without my permission? Yes, I do. I thought you were a man of principle. And he get that from his daddy. Make him a clerk so, or yeah. quartermaster, something of that sort. Good luck. I received a letter from Aunt Charlotte telling me she had closed her home in Charlestown after the city fell. Here in the north, our campaign has been marked by defeat and privation. To give my life in its service. Pray for me, but above all, pray for the cause. Your loving brother, Gabriel. Oh, God. I can hear the way he's reading that letter he want to go. gonna give your daddy a heart attack it's already been to the war could be over by then oh, god willing all right 17 put it back please my son is 16 my oldest oh my god margaret you go get your brothers back up here right now What are they looking at? The war is right up the street. Dead soldiers in the water. Back in the house now. Margaret. Make a lot of damn biscuits. I ain't mad at that. You hear that shit, Mal? Damn, they they can't leave? I don't wanna leave. Six pounders. Put those in the house. Father, they might come Thomas, this way. Must I tell you again? Oh shit. Oh shit. Look up. Father. Gates marched us straight at the red coats. I have to get these dispatches to Hillsborough. You're in no position to write. I Sit your ass down. You know your dad ain't letting you go nowhere. They right outside. They in your yard. Okay. Got them guns now, goddammit. Ain't got no choice. He, he looked like William Wallace a little bit. I'm just saying. In his fucking yard, bro. Clanked him up and shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Yo, the war is in your house. How that fuck? It ain't your fucking yard. Walking through your... There's another crew coming out. Who they? Oh, God. <laughs> Fire the house and bombs. Let it be known, if you harbor the enemy, you will lose your head. All slaves of the American colonies who fight for the crown. We're not slaves. We work this land. And you're freed men who will have the opportunity and the privilege of fighting in the king's army, aren't you? Who carried this? I did, sir. Oh, fuck. Uh, look at male face. Ha! <laughs> Benjamin like, ah, oh, this motherfucker here! Take this one to Camden. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. This is a uniform dispatch rider and carrying a marked case. Colonel. Father. He's a mean motherfucker, man. Well, perhaps you should have taught him something of loyalty. In the rules of war. Or perhaps your children will. I ain't afraid of that. Oh, I'm afraid of that. No lesson is necessary. What of the rebel wounded? 
Kill him. Father. Don't you do it. You over there breathing out hard and shit. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. What are you doing? Don't shoot him. Who's a little boy? It's like, why would you do that? Why? Stupid boy. He has no remorse. Oh, his baby boy. He was 15 years old. Oh, they taking her too? Look at them little boys. From my understanding, this depiction only makes one side look bad and not both. But let me shut up and watch the movie. My kids are my everything. Nathan, Samuel. Boys. Go! I know it's fucked up, y'all. I know it's fucked up. Let's keep it with your daddy. Man, that shit got me fucked up. You killed this little boy. I'll fire first. I want you two to start with the officers and work your way down. Samuel, after your first shot, I want you to reload for your brother Nathan. What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, Aim miss small. small. Aim small, miss small. They following their daddy. They scared, they hurt, but God damn it, He taught them boys well. Aim small, miss small. Bush, got him. That's a whole fucking regiment. Oh, <laughs> those boys can shoot. Right. Shit. They don't know where the fuck is coming from. Good God, oh gracious. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> he all over the place. Gunfire coming from a different direction. Ooh, he got the hand blicky. That boy can shoot. God damn, them boys can shoot. Ooh. Excuse me. That close quarter shit. Oh, he a different kind of soul. Taking him down. Look out. Oh, shit. He's down here. Ooh. That shit. That was how you get. What you going to the whole regiment? Good gracious. And let your company know where we at. Mm. Come on, boy. Kill my boy. That's hard. Kill my boy. Y'all can have the house, the barn, all that shit, the corn. But don't take my kids away from me. Are you crazy? As far as the soldiers know, it's one man. They ain't seen nobody. They ain't seen the kids. But he got his goddamn oldest son back. We have the private the Cherokee Scouts brought. What happened? Who did this? Him. Now, 20 of His Majesty's soldiers are dead. Don't really remember how many. One man. Really? I could barely see him. He was there and then he was gone. Well, he just vanished. One man took out 20! If we can't capture this ghost before word of his exploits <laughs> spread, who's this? Why should I trust a man who betrays his neighbor? Those neighbors of mine who stand against England. And went to his, took his kids to his sister's house. She is. Yo, your dad did not want this for y'all. I swear I know he didn't. 
He didn't even want to fight. So now you feel regret. Like it's your fault. I'm joining up with them. Damn, Gabriel. Gabriel. Don't you walk away from me, boy. I'm not a child. You're my child. Goodbye, father. Thomas is dead. He can't say nothing to keep him. And he can't keep him because he's grown. And it hurts. I didn't know this movie had strong themes about family. He made me mad because he, he's right, you know? You say your prayers. Is that? I can't tell. How, how old is he? Is that Percy Jackson? She love you, man. I can see in her eyes how she look at you. See it in your eyes. Can't you see it in her face? No woman look like looking no man like that. She love that dude. It's her sister's husband. Too early. Oh, he don't like you. Always too eager for glory. General O'Hara tells me you've earned the nickname the Butcher. To victory. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. Get your ass out of here. You're not invited. You ain't got no white wig on. Fuck out of here. Oh, oh shit. shit. Hold him down. What you gonna do with the flag, young man? Hell, you really out here fighting this war with your dad now. So who's in command? I am. I think. <laughs> Hell, he ain't know. We're a breath away from losing this war, Benjamin. So now there's nothing to stop him from heading north to finish off Washington. Unless we can keep Cornwallis in the south. You actually trust the French to keep their word? Absolutely. <laughs> Major Jean Villeneuve, French 7th Lightfoot. I can't pronounce his name, but that's my fucking man right there. You really expect to hold Cornwallis here using just militia? He fought uh, Martin. And Will Smith that one time. Harrisville, Pembroke, mm -hmm. Wakefield. I'll start on the north side of the Santee. We'll meet at Old Spanish Mission in Black Swan. You have children? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Not your goddamn friend. Though, of course, your service in this war more than warrants such a gift. I dare to presume my own meager contributions will be rewarded one day. You serve me, and the manner in which you serve me reflects upon me. Yeah, but he's winning, though. I don't like him. You advance yourself only through my good graces. Fight wars like gentlemen. Hmm. In the church. Hey, the South Carolina militia is being called up. I'm here to enlist every man willing. And bring more suffering to this town? King George can hang those men, our friends. He can hang any one of us. Will you now, when you are needed most, stop at only words? Is that the sort of men you are? That's your boo-boo. And in which you so strongly believe. Who's with us? Wife looked at him like, get your ass up. <laughs> I'm getting up too. They got the militia and his young son. Damn, everybody in the church getting up. You did that. Sir, may I have permission to write to Anne? Talking hard, man. May I have permission to write Anne? Write her. Yes, sir. <laughs> Reverend? Look at the reverend! Benson, 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 Benson. Benson, I happen to be descended from Prince Maurice Claude of Normandy. I have the papers to document it. Mm. Oh, he done went to the motherfucking Regal Beagle. You know it's dangerous in there. You sure this is the right place to recruit for a militia? 
These fucking cutthroats. God save King George. What, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Place. Okay, well. Ugh, they went to a bar to sign up men. They hang my brother down to awkward. Every damn one of them red coats deserves to die. He fought in my stead. Arkham, get over here. If you're willing, I'd like you to make your mark. That'll do. There's a story going around about some 20 red coats got killed by a ghost or some damn thing. Carried a Cherokee tomahawk. He know a lot of them. What's the history with them? Yeah, because they got some motherfucking cutthroat. Oh, ain't that his boy's toys? Mess with me.